What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Lad. We are going to take a look at the Ashgram in Military Tycoon today. In case you didn't know, there is a new Elite Mission 3 and Ashgram and Nova Blitz are the new vehicles in the Elite Mission Shop. They cost 200,000 Elite Mission Coins and 100,000 Elite Mission Coins respectively. Let's purchase it first. So the Ashgram has AI Cannons and Plasma Cannons. Sounds powerful. I am gonna buy them at level 50 but I will not upgrade their stats. I wanna see their performance in stock condition. The Astrum is considered an aerial vehicle, not a ground vehicle. Wow, the speed and health is high but the damage is low. That's a surprise because I thought the speed will be low and the damage will be high. I mean, come on, it looks like a flying tank. Speed is 90. Okay, so I am guessing it is in a slow vehicle category like the AC-130. No special upgrades, pure stats upgrades. That's a surprise too. I thought something like the Astrum would have special upgrades at level 50. Let's spawn it. Oh okay, it works like the F-35. It can hover. That's really great. I love this kind of planes. This might even replace the F-35 for me. It has flares as usual. The primary weapon is the plasma cannon. It is something like an explosive auto cannon if you ask me, but it looks pretty good. The secondary weapon is a series of missiles. You can fire two times before having to reload. Time to test it on real vehicles. Let's try out the AI cannons first, shall we? Okay, it doesn't seem to work on NPCs. Is it a bug or it works on players only? Oh okay, it works on players. So the AI cannon will follow the player whether he is in the vehicle or not. I am not firing anything right now, it's automatic. Hmm, but it seems pretty weak. Oh, if you move further away from your target, the AI cannon starts firing the orange plasma cannon. And it's pretty strong. The primary weapon is strong too. Look at the damage that it is dealing, considering that it can fire much faster. Let's try out the missiles. Hmm, the missiles are not very reliable. Yes, they deal quite a bit of damage, but it's not accurate. It looks like a blanket of bombs on an area instead of focusing on the target. Heat rate is really low. Not really my style of weapon. Anyway, you should have realized that Astrum is not something you use in an aerial dogfight. It cannot lock onto anything. It has an air to ground offense weaponry. So I will try its weapon on a leopard tank. This is the AI cannon. I wouldn't say that it does a lot of damage, but it's decent. For something that is complementary and passive, it's great. Okay, I gotta go further and try the plasma cannon so that the AI cannons do not activate. Impressive damage. I can destroy a leopard tank in way less than one magazine. Okay, now the missiles. The missiles hit quite hard. In fact, only one of them hit but I can see significant damage. But like I explained earlier, the accuracy is way off. Let's see how tough the armor is. Wow, impressive. There are like 5 soldiers firing at me at the same time, but the health depletes slowly. Very tough armor. In fact, I did have a fight with another player who is using an Astrum. I was using the Silk Fire at the time and it took me quite a while to destroy the Astrum. The F-35 does little damage to it. It will take a long time for the F-35 to destroy it. Okay. 
Okay, I also realized that there is a passenger seat. And the passenger seat has a weapon too. Let me show you. So it's a really weak machine gun in the passenger seat. I wouldn't depend heavily on it. The Astrum is a heavy vehicle that can hover. That's something new. It is agile but not as fast as the stats presents. Damage is way higher than what the stats show as well. It has AI cannons that work on players. The Astrum will probably replace my gold F35 for running mundane stuff like loot crates, recording, etc. I really really like the Astrum and I think it's worth it. But if you compare it to the Silkfire, I think the Silkfire is still better as it is more versatile when it comes to combat. The Falcon will probably work very well on the Astrum too. So that's it for today's video. I hope this video had helped you decide on whether you want the Astrum or not. That's because the Astrum costs 200,000 Elite Mission Coins. That's a lot and you probably need to do Elite Mission 3 hard mode to raise that amount. And in order to do that, you need to be at least level 850. That's a very long grind. I will be showcasing the Nova Blitz tomorrow. Please give a thumbs up if this video had helped you. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to turn on that notification bell too. Bye!